Okay, so I saw this on Twitter, remove one vocalist from each row. So for the first row off rip, I have to remove Celine. So my rationale for this, if you see me on social media or this channel, my main channel, you know I love Mariah Carey. My favorite singer of all time, my favorite artist of all time. You don't get a lot of singers without Mariah Carey. Her range, her musicality, there's just a lot to love, especially her tone. I could go on and on and make a whole dissertation, but Mariah's obviously sing. Whitney is my second favorite singer of all time absolutely phenomenal what she could do with her head voice her technique all that stuff i think selene is a great singer don't get me wrong definitely one of the best singers to ever do it i just prefer mariah and whitney so that is why selene has to go it is what it is now the second row i think that adele has to go you know i was thinking about this and everything i like adele a lot i like adele a lot but i don't know she just kind of felt expendable to me that's the only rationale that they have for this but you know yeah, so she had to go because I'm not getting rid of Ariana Grande. I'm really not getting rid of Ariana Grande. I like her, you know, she's like one of my favorite newer pop girls out. So Ariana Grande was definitely staying for me. I like Lady Gaga, you know, I could see a world where I'm choosing between either two of them, but Ariana Grande staying for me, that's not up for debate. Now on to the third row. So for me, I would say Christina Aguilera has to go. So the reason why Christina is going is simply she just oversings. Everybody knows this, you know, and I have Christina songs that I like, you know, What a Girl Wants, I Turn to You, that was one of the first Christina Aguilera songs I ever heard. I thought that that song was fantastic. I still love it. Dan Warren wanted to hit with that one. You know, even stuff from Stripped, you had Fighter, which was a moment, Underappreciated Walk Away, like, she has some good songs that I like, but she overdoes it. She does, especially whenever she hit that live performance. And so, yeah, you know, and not to mention, I just prefer the other two voices more. Beyonce is another one of my favorite singers of all time. And for some reason, I feel like people don't really give her the credit that she deserves. But I mean, just what she's able to do, her range and her musicality. She studied the greats before her. Absolutely love Beyonce. And so she was definitely staying out of the three. I mean, let's be serious. And then for Brandy, I think that she just has an excellent tone about her as well. And I mean, vocal Bible for a reason. So Brandy certainly wasn't going. So yeah, to recap, Celine will be going, Adele will be going, and Christina Aguilera will be going. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments who's going to be going. And if you want to rank everybody in each row in terms of your favorites, I would definitely let to know. But I mean, this was a really easy decision for me at least. But that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching it. If you did enjoy it, give it a like below. It helps me out a lot. I need to back with them. I very much appreciate it. You can also subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. If you hit the bell, you get a notification for when I post and not miss some brand new videos come out. I post new videos every single day talking about the music industry, current events, and stuff like that. But I also post content about the NFL sometimes and the WNBA because I like sports. Dan Sauce is one of my favorite shows. I do tier lists, whatever I want to talk about. It's on this channel every single day. I'm posting. So subscribe to see more. First link down below in the description is going to be my latest main channel video. And and on there, I make arm reactions, arm reviews, so you can check me out over there. Also going to have social media, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, TikTok, AirBuds, and Free Palestine, making sure we educate ourselves in the situation. Lastly, make sure you register to vote. I'll be voting for Kamala in November, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.